Hey guys, welcome back to another vid. Um, in the last vid, we uh, showed you the ground dogs. Again, great little invention. In this vid, we're going to go through the Waitai anti theft system. Okay, so here we are at uh, Sandgate Auto Electrics, also known as um, All Brands Caravans. They do just about every caravan that you can think of for servicing or repairs or fixing things up. These are the guys that are the Brisbane designated uh, installers for the Waitai security system, which we'll give you a look at once we pick the van up. Okay, they're in Connaught Road, Sandgate. And um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Cheers. What it can do for you, it's also got a GPS system with it. What it can do is it can, um, one, track your van with the GPS, so it'll track all the kilometers that you do in your van. Two, if somebody steals your van, then you'll know where the van is. With just the anti-theft system, an alarm will go off if you shake the van or try to break into the van, or if you try to move the van. Also, at the same time, the brakes come on and will lock on. So if they're gonna try and tow your van away, they're gonna to have to skull drag it, all right? And they're not gonna get very far. So peace of mind. And the reason we got it is, obviously, when we go up the Gulf or in certain places of Australia, we're gonna to wanna to leave our van and go in our car and go off exploring for a day or two. All right, you want peace of mind to know that your van is still gonna be there when you get back. Also, at least with the alarm on it, the lights flashing and the horn going off, it will deter those young little skellywags that wanna to try to break in just for a bit of loose change and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll take you underneath now and I'll show you where the uh, horn is. Then we'll go inside the van, I'll show you where the little system is set up in the van and then I'll give you a demonstration on how it works. All right, it's pretty short and pretty sharp and pretty simple. Right, Righto, we'll go under my van now. Okay, here's the horn sitting up here. It's all wired in, runs through and goes up through the cupboard there. Right, I'll take you inside and show you. It's not a massive horn, but it'll do the job. I've actually got a bigger one inside that I might even change over. Okay, so here's where we have the white tie um, system. Up the top there, you'll see the actual GPS. Right, it's a little bit dark. I'll grab a torch and I'll light it up for you. Okay, that's a bit better. So you've got the uh, ytie.com.au. They're out of Perth. That's the trailer unit. You can also get one for your car. But I've elected just to go with the trailer unit and the uh, GPS. When you buy the system, it comes with two key fobs. So you can have one each. The way that it works is you press the button once and you'll see the lights on the caravan will come on. They'll go off and a couple of seconds later, They'll flash twice, which means the alarm is set. So, we'll look at the lights on the van. Okay, so you've seen that it went once. Wait a few seconds, and it goes twice. Okay, simple as. Now, to turn it off, again, you push the button once. That's all lights on the van. So we push it once. Okay, flashed, and that's off. When it flashes twice, it means it's on. So, that'll now come on. Two more flashes, means the alarm's on. If you want to turn him off, you do the same thing. Okay, now that we've uh, set the alarm, I'll show you how it works. Generally, if you try to hook the car up to the van and try to tow it, once the van moves, it'll come on. Alright. Um, then you turn it off. That's how you turn it off. Right, so that was me just tapping it, bugger all. Um, the alarm will go off, all the lights on the van will flash, so obviously at night time, people will see and hear it. It's probably more a deterrent just to get those young skellywags that hang around, try to break in the van and maybe take the laptop or your wallet or something like that, right, it'll scare them off. It's not really gonna scare a proper thief off that really wants to take your van. If they're gonna take it, they're gonna obviously put it on a tow truck Skull drag it up and they'll take it, but that's why we have insurance. All right, having this uh, Y Tie system on here, some insurance companies may give you cheaper insurance for having it. I'm not 100% sure, you can only just ask. Um, as I said, say so the bill was $1,400 odd dollars, $1,440. That was to fully install the Y Tie anti theft as well as the GPS. The majority of the money was the labour and GST and 
they're eight dollars for this and nine dollars for that and all this stuff the actual system itself i think was just over 500 bucks for the two of the items that i put into it jump on to uh whiteye.com.au research it have a look as i said before there's a part that you can get for a car so you can have the car and the van I didn't worry about the car because the car's going to always be with us whereas the van may not as i said before the van you may want to leave it somewhere like up the gulf or out in the middle of nowhere you might want to duck away for two three days in the uh, car just to sightsee and check the surrounding areas out and you know you're going to come back and your van's going to be safe all right when that alarm goes off the brakes automatically lock on all right and they won't come off until you turn off the uh, fob i hope this has been pretty helpful Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if you're in the Brisbane area, okay, when you get on the website, you can have a look, put in what area you're in, and it will tell you who in your area installs them. In Brisbane, it is um, All Vans over at Sandgate in Connaught Street. They'll either let you take the white, the white tie system there, or they'll order it for you, all right? They get it cheaper than what you can. Their price was a bit cheaper than what I went online and had a look at. Um, yeah. Remember, if you uh, like the information, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It will uh, give you uh, notifications on when we put new content out. Before I go, what do you reckon Forrest Gump's password would be? One Forest One. Catches. Gotcha.